Okay, so welcome back to my channel, Math and Language, and we're going to tackle inverse of a function. So let's start. So madali lang natin may solve ang isang inverse ng isang function. There are four steps long. The first one is, just have to replace the function of x with y. Pangalawa naman, interchange natin yung variables ng x and y. Pangatlo, you have to solve for y in terms of x. And lastly, after solving for y, replace mo yun, yung y, with f to the negative 1. Alright, so for the first example, we have the function of x is equal to x plus 3. First step again, you have to replace the function of x with y. So pinalitan ko lang yung function of x na yun ng y. So that will be y is equal to x plus 3. Second step, you have to interchange the variables x and y. So makikita mo, pinalitan ko lang yung y and x, nag-swap lang sila. So that will be x is equal to y plus 3. And next one, third step natin, solve for y in terms of x. Di ba kanina, x is equal to y plus 3? Ngayon, kailangan mong isolve yun, yung y. Hanapin mo yung value ng y. So that will be y plus 3 is equal to x. Pinalitan ko lang. Nag-swap lang ako para mas madali. So that will be y is equal to x minus 3. Nilipat ko yung 3 sa kabila. And lastly, kailangan mo lang palitan yung y ng f to the negative 1, x. So that will be the inverse function of x plus 3 will be x minus 3. Okay, let's move to a more complicated example. The function of x is equal to 3x minus 1 over x plus 5. So first step again, palitan mo lang yung function of x ng y. So that will be y is equal to 3x minus 1 over x plus 5. Next step, iswap mo lahat ng x sa y. So that will be x is equal to 3y minus 1 over y plus 5. And next step nyan, isolve mo na ang y. Kailangan makuha mo yung value ng y. So algebraically, so cross multiply ko lang, that will be xy plus 5x is equal to 3y minus 1. Pinagsama ko lahat ng y sa kaliwa xy minus 3y is equal to negative 5x minus 1. So factor out mo yung y, that will be y times the quantity x minus 3 is equal to negative 5x minus 1. And lastly, divide both sides by x minus 3. So that will be y is equal to negative 5x minus 1 over x minus 3. So ang final answer mo na, palitan mo lang yung y ulit sa function f to the negative 1, x is equal to negative 5x minus 1 over x minus 3. Alright, so final note lang, inverse of a function doesn't exist in two conditions. First one, yung equation mo, hindi naman siya function. So para malaman natin yun, you use the vertical test. So yun yung sa first image. So pag, pag hindi siya nagpass sa vertical test, hindi siya function. Okay? So hindi, hindi ka pwedeng kumuha ng inverse nun. Pangalawa naman, the function doesn't pass the horizontal test. Okay, function na, kaso hindi siya pumasa sa horizontal test. Katulad ng function na x squared plus 1, yung second image. Kapag nag-horizontal test ka at nag-intersect siya sa two or more points, hindi siya pasado sa horizontal test. That means, yung function na yun, hindi ka pwedeng kumuha ng inverse nun. So the inverse doesn't exist on that function. And that's the end of the video for the inverse function. If you would like to comment or suggest another math and language video, please comment down below. I comment yun na rin yung assignment nyo. Again, this is James, your math and language instructor. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye bye.